Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. Today I thought we would do a formula together. So here we go. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read off the materials I'm going to use. So um, I don't know if that'll be helpful or not. Like, so you can like pause the video as you get those materials together. Um, so I'll just say them in the beginning in case you want to gather those and pause as you get the materials and then watch this and then we kind of do it together. So here we go. So I have Blackwood, Blackwood from Fermanish. I have a, um, my Green Moss Accord number, in case you want to know, number 758. That's my Green Moss Accord. So if you don't have it, getting something comparable with whatever you have and everybody has different stuff so just get something comparable. Um, clear wood, timber silk, hedione, cedrol, c-e-d-r-o-l, those are the crystals that um, it's in a 10 percent solution um, from cedar wood. And then um, linalol acetate, linalol acetate, I'm just saying that again, bergamot essential oil, um, a muguet magic, so it's lily of the valley, so if you have some type of lily of the valley accord, that would be great. Um, that's This one is my accord, and it's 1108, in case you want to know. And then I have a white musk accord, number 1523, so a white, you could pick a white musk or multiple white musk, and you might be like, what is the, what is the name of white musk? Okay, um, so ethylene brassolate. Um, you could do galaxolide, apolide, um, napalva. Uh, globinone actually would be a good one with what I have going on here. Anyway, and the last one I have is Wood Base by Fermanish. So here we go. I'm going to start with Black Wood. And again, I think almost every single time I just make this up as I go. I kind of picked out what I wanted, and that doesn't mean I won't add something at the end. But so far, that's what we have. So Black Wood is a very, very forgiving agar, agar wood, um, or oud. It's a very, very forgiving Oh, it's just beautiful. I oh, love it. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six drops. And yes, I am doing drops because I just want to continue to make this easy for you. Six drops. Okay. Green moss. I'm going to do two. My green moss is very green for it's pretty strong. One, two just so you know like is this strong or is it light it's a um it's not super mossy mossy like super earthy uh but it is a um a little bit more green where it's a little bit less earthy but it is a green moss and i love it clear wood clear wood is um the very clean clean patchouli you if you're watching this and doing perfumer, you have to have clear wood. It is a must. To me, it's a must. It's just a must. One, two, three. Three drops. Another must is timber silk. But if you've been watching any of my videos, you know timber silk is a must. Very close to Isoe Super, but a little, a little bit more uh, dense is the wrong word. A little bit, a little bit stronger it has a little bit more to it. Where these are still pretty benign, light, whatever. But this one's just a little bit a, a step lower in in aroma, lower as in a base. One, two, three, four five 
five drops of timber silk. Um, Hedion, a def, a must. One, two, three. Three drops. It kind of brings some lift. <clears throat> C draw. I'm going to do three. One, two, three. It's kind of a dry, sweet wood. Three drops of that. <clears throat> Little all acetate is a top note, but it's 24 hours. It's just in amazing that it's a top note. And you can use up to 25% of linalol acetate. One, two. The two drops. Linalol acetate is in lavender. It's in many other things, but it's in lavender. Bergamot essential oil. One drop. White. I mean, um, Muguet Magic. I'm probably saying that wrong. Oh, I hate that. Um, I don't speak French. It's the Lily of the Valley Magic Accord. It's 1108. Mm. Oh, so beautiful. I'm going to put one. Just one drop of that. And then White Musk. Oh, so beautiful. Very, very clean. One, two, three, four. Four drops of the white musk number one, five, two, three. Four drops. And then the wood base. It is just such a good all-purpose wood. It's clean. It's not dark, but it's not super blonde, fresh, new new wood that's just been cut that's a little bit sharper this is like in between but it's not old wood either it's like perfectly aged wood one two three four four see I changed my mind at first I was going to do three and then I changed my mind to four I just kind of think about what I already have in there and how blending it all together will be and it just takes time you've got to learn I mean all of this is about learning your materials and just playing like this and just doing it and that is how you learn your materials is you just have to play with them over and over and over and with different things and I tried to use pretty common things that most everybody will have because these are definitely things that I think you should have even in the beginning. Um, so let's see what we have here. Oh, I like it. I really do. I like this a lot. Hmm. I think the... Um, Uh, I think the only thing I'm going to do is put um, one drop of linalol and fluorite. I cannot say that word. Let me just write it really quick and then I'll spell it for you. Um, okay, linalol anth anth anthranilate, anthranilate, A-N-T-H-R-A-N-I-L-A-T-E. It is kind of orange blossomy. Oh, golly, I love it. It's very, it is a base note. Is going to last like 336 hours. You can use up to 8% of it. One drop in your formula. Just one drop. 
but this is going to change the whole entire thing. It will. Watch this. It's going to change the entire thing. But Orange Blossom is of the florals. It is one of the common ones that are in, I hate men's fragrances, colognes, that kind of stuff. I think all fragrances are for whoever. If it smells good on you, then you like it. Whether it's here in America classified as, you know, a, a women's fragrance or a men's fragrance, whatever. To me, they're all unisex. And if you like it, another, um, so I'll move on from that. Another really good typical floral in typical men's stuff is going to be tuberose, which is one of my favorite. And you know, I grow tuberose flowers. I don't grow much of anything, but that is one thing I do. Oh, magic. Oh, that is, that's amazing. And when putting this down to like a 10%, and I'm usually one, I like it stronger, 20% or whatever. But this, let this age for a couple of months and then do it to 10%. And I'm telling you all of the different notes are going to come out and you will smell them. And like right now, it smells very like all clumped together like one like one thing instead of smelling all the separate notes that are in here. It's almost like you're just smelling one, but letting it age and meld together. And then at 10%, when you put it at 10%, you are going to get all of the complexity. All of that will come out. So what I do is obviously you put the date on here. Um, on, in your notes when you're writing and then you can put make to 10%. So coming back two months later, you'll know, oh, you know, I wanted to do this at 10% and you can write notes of why, like what I said or whatever, but it's that kind of thing that will be helpful. And if you want to do a small thing of 10%, a really small thing of it at 15% and a really small thing of it at 20%, even like, 5% or 8%, just different. There's no fast rule for any of this, but you can do that and test the scent strips and see what you're liking. And then also on the skin, which will be the most important because it will smell completely different on your skin. And that happened to me yesterday. I made something, um, called Elegant Wood for my dad. He loved it, which is just, I couldn't believe he liked it. It is just like with oud and some really sophisticated stuff in it, which I never thought he would like at all. And he liked it. And so putting it on the scent strip and then putting it on my skin is just like, what in the, what? just so completely different so much more happens that you can smell on the skin. So don't forget to do that as well later on down the line and do a, like a 10% and put it here, do a 15%, do a 20%, whatever in different places. So you can smell the differences in which you like better. And that's how you can know for like this formula, it is best at 8%. And so you'll just go back in and write that down. So, I hope this was helpful for you. It is really this, excuse me, this is very, very much about you learning your materials. And this is one way to learn your materials. It's just playing around and making stuff up. I made a, I promise you, I made a formula yesterday and I wrote nasty. I made a formula yesterday and it was absolutely nasty. It was horrid. And I was playing. It happens. That, but that's how you learn. So I can learn. So I'm going to go back and pretty much I already kind of know. 
but there were some new materials that I got and I put them together and anyway it making mistakes can be helpful and I don't even really call it a mistake it was just I was playing and I was like huh wonder how this will turn out and it turned out disgusting and I wanted to find out why it was so for me mine typically turn out sour when mine turn out bad and this was kind of that way a little bit different from sour but anyway um just wanted to show you because nasty right there in the circle the whole thing so I wanted to share that with you so you don't get frustrated because it just it's going to happen you're going to make formulas that are just like ew and what I tend to do when I make something like that and it's disgusting and just does not turn out and I get down or def and frustrated is I will, I promise you this is what I do, I will go right then and make another formula, something completely different and I will make a formula that I know will work <laughs> so I can feel good. <laughs> I promise you it's, it's what I do. I just, I get so frustrated. I'm like, oh my God, that just sucks so bad. I just want to make another formula that I know is going to work so I can just, I don't know, it helps me and that's what I do. So that's something you can do as well if you think um, that will be helpful or work for you. I appreciate you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. And I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.